Kims. Welcome to the HIMSS video tutorial on embossing from a braille sense. You can emboss from a braille sense to virtually any embosser that's on the market today. Note that we are using an iPad as a visual display for this video. Because we have VNC mode, a feature available in version 8.6 of the BrailleSense firmware. Even though I am using a USB connection between my BrailleSense and embosser, I want to change the printer port on the BrailleSense to parallel. I do this by going into the global options menu with space plus O. Braille display, me, ah. The Braille display is the first option of many in the global options menu. The shortcut P will take me to the printer port. Punctuation level P symbol. I hit P again. Printer port P parallel. And if I'm not set on parallel, I would hit the space bar until I got to the parallel port, and then I would press enter to save this option. Saved options. File manager F. Now it's time to open a document to emboss. So I'm going to go into my file manager. Note that there are other ways to open a document, but this is how I would do it. Any document that's in the word processor can be embossed. So I'm going to go into my file manager by pressing enter. Bio for Dave Wilkinson doc one one. Hey, and here's a file bio for Dave Wilkinson. Everyone should have a copy of that, so we're going to emboss it. I'm going to press enter to load the document. And now I can read about me, which always makes me happy. All I need to do to emboss this document at this point is press P and the space bar and then choose emboss. But before we do that, I want to show you how you can change your formatting in your document. You can change formatting in your document, things like characters per page, lines per page, etc. by going into the files, by going into your menus, by pressing function key 2. File F, pull down. I'm going to scroll down to layout. Edit, go to, G, read, R, pull layout, L, pull down. I'm going to press enter on the layout menu. Braille document layout, P, common dialog. And the first choice is Braille document layout, which is what I want, so I'm going to press enter. Set characters per line, 32 characters. Now I have a series of choices that I can get to by using my scroll buttons, and I can set how many characters per line I have, which also affects the size of paper. Set lines per page, 26 lines. Print type, double sided. So if I wanted single-sided, I would hit the space bar and it would flip to single-sided. Single-sided. I hit the space bar again since I want double-sided. My bio is long enough that it's going to take up more than one sheet and we want to save paper. Double-sided. Page numbering type, double-sided. Set page numbering, lower right. And again, if I wanted to change this, I can hit the space bar. Upper right. It'll move to upper right. Lower right. And now back to the lower right. Arrangements. Header ampersand footer center. I can have headers and footers centered. Header right ampersand footer center. Header ampersand footer right. Header center ampersand footer right. Header ampersand footer center. So now we're back to header and footer both being centered. Header. Footer. And I have choices for headers and footers as well. I'm not going to make any changes, so I'm just going to press function key 4 to escape out of this menu. Cancel. And we're going to go ahead and emboss. All I need to do to emboss is press P in the space bar for print. Print method, embosser. My first choice is embosser. If I was sending this to a printer, I would scroll down to print. HP printer. Epson printer. Cancel. Embosser. I want embosser, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Start page number one. I'm prompted to know which page I would like to start on. If I wanted to start on a page beyond one, I would type it here. 
I could also scroll down and choose an end page. End page number 100,000. This is not a 100,000 page long document, don't worry, but it means that I could enter any number before 100,000 and it would just stop at that page. Number of copies, one. Number of copies is one. Set braille format, yes. That means that I can use braille formatting, which I do want. Start page number one. Set braille format, yes. And when I have all of these parameters set, I can tab. Confirm. Over to confirm and press enter. Print, yes. I'm prompted one more time. Print, yes, and I hit enter. Successfully printed. And we've embossed a document. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for tuning in to our embossing video, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.